What's going on guys? Episode 2 of the Ultimate Pitchers program here. Uh, this is the strength and no throw portion here. Uh, if you guys missed the first episode, the first episode is collecting an assessment. Ideally you'd get that right off of the end of your baseball season. Uh, but again you can do an assessment at any time during the year when your arms built up. Uh, going into the next phase here, it's about uh, building that baseline strength and then giving your arm kind of that downtime, that rest time after baseball season ends. Uh, and, and really kind of starting that ramp up through the off season, but, but kind of an active recovery time. We still want to do some stuff that helps us work on our pitching delivery. Uh, there's, there's a ton of things that you can still do uh, to, to keep getting better as a pitcher, even when you're not throwing a baseball. Uh, and then, and then obviously, like I, like I led with the, the strength, the baseline strength, uh, that's typically right after you get done with your season, you do your assessment, you take, you know, your couple weeks off, uh, and then you get back into the weight room, trying to build that foundation of strength. Cause that foundation of strength we know is going to help us kind of carry throughout the entire next season. And there's only certain times of the year where you can do really good strength work, you know, when you're volume and your throwing volume is so high throughout the year so uh, typically you know if you're coming off the end of your season August September time frame that's gonna run you from you know October to November and uh, uh, so that's that's kind of be kind of what we do today uh, we're gonna work through the exact same routine uh, of, of you know the soft tissue mobility and correctives dynamic warm-up throwing program lifting program those are the five things that we're gonna hit basically every single day our order of operations um, you know, just within those things, you know, the drills, exercises look differently. The volume looks differently depending on the time of the year. So first things first, soft tissue, we're going to work through the exact same routine. Uh, this, this week, this kind of cycle in this program is a heightened focus of no throw exercises, letting our arm rest and strength exercises to kind of build up our body, build up our strength, uh, to kind of lead us into the next cycle of this. So. All right, so that's it for the, uh, the warm-up piece of it. We're gonna get a little bit into the more specific no-throw uh, category here. Um, sometimes, sometimes too, I'll say it's like an active recovery. It's not completely a no-throw uh, where we're throwing a football, uh, lightly playing catch, maybe playing catch with a six or seven ounce ball, and that's where the individualization of your program kind of comes in. Uh, as I got older, I did different things from year to year. Uh, so as I got older, you know, depending on how the previous year went, would kind of dictate maybe what those active recovery protocols looked like. Uh, you know, for right now, I'm going to demo some of the things that uh, um, are are completely no throw to uh, kind of kind of target maybe the 17 to 22, 23 year old kind of population here uh, that that the season that you're coming off of is the most throwing that you've ever had. You know, I remember basically that time frame of my life, every single year that I had, you know, was a build in capacity and like volume and intensity, you know, from the year before. Um, and it wasn't until I was 25, 26, 27 years old that, um, you know, I introduced some more of those things, uh, you know, obviously younger on, um, earlier on when I was younger, uh, playing football, I'd throw a football during the off season. So uh, a little bit different, but, uh, but for right now, uh, you know, we have a lot of these things. We're trying to kind of keep greasing that groove, that rotation and, uh, you know, target some of those things that it's really hard to do with a baseball in your hand. And I think that's basically the whole point of all of these. Uh, you, we get our rotation, we get our mechanics like so ingrained in our head that, you know, in June sometimes to make those mechanical changes that we're seeking is much harder. Um, and we have this time frame right now where we're out of competition. We can really focus on, uh, you know, those small details in front of this wall here where, you know, the way I'm moving my body is the priority and not where the ball is ending up. Uh, trying to make mechanical changes when we're trying to throw strikes in competition is extremely hard. And uh, you know, if you make this much of a difference, that's probably a, a huge win for you. Uh, what I've found the most success with is during competition, 
compete with what you got and then during your times like this is when you should be trying to you know make some of those smaller changes to your mechanics or delivery or approach so what I'm going to go through today is some rotational power stuff that uh, that I've done in the past that helps kind of target the the you know groove that I'm looking to uh, target for me uh, again some of these drills you know these aren't foolproof drills that everybody should go do uh, these are drills that have been kind of prescribed for me based off my delivery based off my assessment based off my body um, you, you guys getting your own assessment and having your own drills prescribed for you would be critical um, but this is a good place to start Uh, it's helping with the counter rotation that I that I'd like to feel as I'm kind of going down the mound this band right here is trying to pull this shoulder forward so as I lift my leg and go down into my front foot strike position it's wanting to pull me this way and so I'm having a counter resistance so I feel all this tension in my core of how to kind of keep that stacked and loaded over this back glute it's just a really good warm-up drill for people who are maybe struggling to find that tension in their core and where it should be all the way down in the front foot strike position so Okay, those are rotational uh, drills without putting stress on your arm throwing when you're coming off of the season. You're trying to limit the throwing volume, but you still want to work on the rotation. You still want to work on the rotation that's somewhat close to your delivery. Uh, I'm using a two pound ball for the overhead, kind of more pummel throws, and a six pound med ball for the slams and the shot put throws. Um, I'm 30 years old, I've been doing it for a while, so if you guys are younger watching this, maybe start with a lower, lower one, uh, but, but that's kind of what I'm doing these for, and I'm trying to just rep that pattern and, and build that explosiveness with a heavier ball without putting the stress uh, you know, of an overhead throw on my arm, on my shoulder, my ligaments, and everything that I've just come off the season putting a lot of workload on. So uh, that's it for the throwing portion and the no throw phase. Uh, there's some other drills sometimes like a, a first move. Um, you saw me into the wall there, kind of kind of working some of that. But uh, um, again, those are drills that, that I like, that I do, that have been kind of prescribed for me. There's a thousand different drills that you could do. Uh, but uh, you know, that, that time frame's like kind of October, November, a good way to target, you know, some things in your delivery as a pitcher uh, without putting stress on your arm. Now I'm gonna run more into kind of the lifting phase of this. Paired up with that, we do the strength programming where we're really looking to, to put on our size, put on our strength and kind of build that foundation that's gonna carry us through the entire next baseball season. All right guys, that's it for today. Uh, the biggest piece of this is that we're trying to build the strength uh, volume in the weight room and we're trying to give our arms some time to rest kind of coming off the season. You know, uh, th this is the time frame where you're looking to, to gain your weight, to gain your strength, more of a hypertrophy like phase, uh, you know, and, and really truly like this, this phase for me has shrunk throughout the years because as you kind of get the absolute strength uh, that's necessary to throw a baseball, you know, you spend more time 
you know, targeting some power deficiencies. Um, so that's that's kind of what I've done later in my career here. But uh, but earlier on, maybe spending a little bit more time in those strength phases, and uh, you know, some some good benchmark numbers, you know, that I've looked to hit through the years. Uh, you know, just trying to wrap your guys' head around absolute strength goals for baseball players. You know, and this is this is different for everybody, but a but a over generalization just to give uh, you know give you guys an idea uh two times your body weight on squat two and a half times your body weight on deadlift uh being able to bench press your body weight and being able to do 10 pull-ups those are like kind of some of the absolute strength benchmarks that you you'd like to hit uh, and then really transition more into like power how you take you know how you take the weight how you take the the ball and like how you move how you apply that force because uh, ultimately you know that's the biggest thing as a baseball player um you know so so even even our youngest players you know go from a strength phase more into a power phase um and and that's what we're going to go into and then the next video in this three or in this video series uh video three is going to be about that um so i appreciate you guys uh, if you guys have any questions about the strength phase and the no throw phase or maybe some more things that you can do within those uh within that phase uh drop me a comment i'd love to answer it love to answer you guys' questions subscribe if you guys haven't already and uh, we'll see you next time